Uh, good morning, Council. Uh, my name is Ashish Hemrajani. I'm a graduate student at the University of Hawaii at Manoa. Um, I've been researching homelessness since 2009. Um, in that, it, both inside shelters and on the streets. In that time, I've got to know a lot of homeless individuals. Um, and I was worried about the bill. I, I, I'd like to recommend that you oppose the bill. And I think the most important testimony I can provide is to put a face to uh, the, the kinds of people that you are making criminals um, by passing this bill. Uh, one of the first friends I made when I moved to Honolulu was a woman in her 60s named Mimi, who stayed at the bus stop near my house. She complained regularly of being harassed and sexually assaulted, both inside of shelters and out. Uh, Mimi refused shelter, and she only wanted a safe place to go where she wouldn't be raped. By passing Bill 59, you were making a 60-year-old woman like Mimi into a criminal. Rather than turning your attention to why people are on the streets and what happens to them when they have to live in marginal public zones in the first place, you are finding them for having nothing. Rather than a war on poverty, you are waging a war on the poor. The commercial zones demarcated by the bill are already policed, for example, by Bill 54, which was um, passed earlier. The drugs and violence that are the supposed impetus of this bill are already illegal, making this bill uh, effectively redundant. There is, however, a moral cost to this bill. You um, are dragging in your constituents, um, you're dragging in the HPD to enforce this legislation. The, le the, the HPD has already suggested that this bill is unconstitutional. Um, as elected leaders of the world's wealthiest first world democracy, it is incumbent upon you to fight the ills of poverty that affect our citizens, not to criminalize our poor citizens. Um, I believe you also have a written testimony for me. Thank you. Thank you questions. very much. Members, any questions? Okay, thank you.